what's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel today's video is one that was requested a long time ago it's chicken fried rice and also I couldn't do chicken fried rice without having a side of Korean crispy fried chicken so if that is something that you're interested in let's get into the video okay so before we go any further with our cooking I want to season my chicken wings and allow them to uh, marinate just to marinate for two hours until I'm ready for them I'm gonna add first some salt and pepper Also, I'm going to add some ginger and garlic. It couldn't be Asian if you don't have ginger and garlic in it. I'm going to add a two teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of sugar. And then I'm just gonna mix it together. The measurements for everything will definitely be in the description box below. So I'm just gonna cover this and allow it to marinate. I've already prepared my batch that I'm going to use to fry today. So I'm gonna take out that batch. Okay, so before we start doing the fried rice, we have to make a, a sauce that we're gonna pour on it. So I'm measuring out a quarter cup of chicken stock, a tablespoon of soy sauce. You can use regular soy sauce if you, if you like, but I have to go gluten-free. So one tablespoon of soy sauce and three tablespoons of oyster sauce. And this is also gluten-free oyster sauce. And I'm going to go in with about half teaspoon of sesame oil. And I'm also going to add a teaspoon of sugar just to balance things out. So now that we have everything ready, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my fried my chicken fried rice. So let's go. So now to start the cooking, I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the pot. Okay, so I whisked together um, two eggs. And I'm just going to scramble the eggs. So I'm going to add some more oil and I'm going to start to fry up my chicken. Okay, so I'm going to remove the chicken from the pot and then start to cook my vegetables. So first thing I'm going in with my carrots. If you don't want to use mixed vegetables, you don't have to, but it adds a little bit of color to the fried rice. I'm also going to add some green onions. Adding my bean sprouts. And my three cups of rice. I'm adding here some black pepper, some salt, and I'm just going to stir this again. Then I'm going to add my eggs. I'm going to add my chicken. Oh, my chicken looks so big in the fry rice. I mean, you could cut them smaller if you like. I could have cut them a, a bit smaller, but that's okay. Still gonna enjoy it. <laughs> I 
Boston fried rice, nonetheless. So now I'm going to add my sauce. And the last thing I'm going to add it is my green onions. Well, some of it for now. And I reserved a little bit of my green onions just to garnish the top of my fried rice. Okay, so to make my butter for my um, chicken, I'm going with, with some potato flour. If you have regular flour, you can use it. So that's about two and a half cups of potato flour. I'm going to also add some cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to make the chicken very crispy. I'm adding to my flour some garlic powder, onion powder, and I was told the secret to Korean fried chicken in terms of the flavor is adding a little bit of curry. So add a little bit of curry powder. And last, some sugar. So I'm just going to mix this together and set it aside. Okay, so to my wet batter, I'm gonna add some club soda to this bowl and then I'm going to add one egg. stuck together so straighten the flour shake off the excess into my liquid back into my flour just make sure you squeeze the flour onto the chicken shake off the excess flour of the chicken and then set it aside I'm going to continue to do that and then I'll see you again when I start frying them okay guys so now we're going to fry our chicken I'm just gonna check if the oil is ready and I see bubbles coming up so our oil is definitely ready okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start frying off my chicken wings Don't want to add too many to the pot because that will definitely um, reduce the temperature of the oil okay so now I want them to just fry for about eight minutes and then I'm going to take them from the pot finish frying the rest of the chicken and then I'm going to re-add them to the pot at a higher temperature and allow them to fry for an additional six minutes which will give us bring us to about a total of about um, 40 minutes hey guys welcome back everything is completely done i have here some jamaican ting 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 some some ting 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 this is one of my favorite jamaican drinks I love having me something. Also, I, I like um, cola champagne. I'll just sip a little bit. Oh, oh lord, that's good. Okay, so let's get into this fried rice. Spoon too little. Mm. 
Mm. I'm not a fan of peas, but I said I wanted to stay true to, you know, how the authentic fried rice. So I put peas in it. Mm. I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> mm -mm. Why am I spoon for so little? Mm. Let me just switch this around. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So much easier. Mm. This is so good. No jokes. Mm hmm. Feels so tropical. All right, let me get into the chicken now. Look at this. Not regular flour, but it is so crispy. Let me see if I can get that crunch. Mm -mm. Mm. This is good. You get the hint of ginger and garlic. This is really Chinese. And that double frying is what really gives it that nice crunch on it. And that's why when ch they do Chinese food, sometimes even when they add sauce to the chicken, you find that it's still crunch on the outside because they double fry the chicken. Mm -hmm. And chicken pieces, they're a little bit big. When you're having the real Chinese um, takeout, the chicken pieces are really, really small and you can't even, you can't even recognize it. But if you're doing takeout at home, a homemade takeout, why not? Look at the size of the chicken. Next time I do it, I'll do it, cut the chicken really small so it resembles takeout. Mm. The only good thing about um, the chicken being that big is that if you're only having the fried rice by itself, then you don't even have to worry about where you're getting your protein. Like if you're eating, you know, you know why I have the side of chicken here? You wouldn't have to worry about um you wouldn't even have to worry about this. You just enjoy your fried rice. Because there's enough chicken pieces. 
that will tell you mind that you're having a complete meal. Fourteen minutes is just perfect for the chicken too. It's cooked properly, like right through. Mm -hmm. That ginger and garlic though. So my province is in a lockdown again. Province wide lockdown. Full lockdown, no business open. Maybe just supermarkets and like hardware. Most essential places. So most likely there will be no school too, so everybody's going to be doing work from home and school from home. I think about it, even during, since they um, opened back up, I still wasn't letting my daughter go to go to school, to do face-to-face. -face. Still not ready for that. I'm not prepared for that yet. She's too young. I, don't, I, don't, I just feel like... She's so young and she won't be able to, to fight. I don't know. She's only five, so sometimes you wear as an adult wearing a mask. You can't even remember to well you remember because you're so used to it now. I guess in the beginning you wouldn't remember to always cover your face. And she's in the class with other kids. Imagine them in the class and then another child said, Oh, your mask looks pretty. Let me borrow yours. Mm -mm. Oh, you have a SpongeBob mask. Can I see your SpongeBob mask? No. So I just, I just, I just imagine all the different things that can happen while she's at school. And I said to myself, you know what, let her stay home. So she, she goes to school from home. She does remote learning. But this is for the same reason though, because I knew they were going to go back into a lockdown. Every time they open up, every time, every time they open up, then they have to lock down again because the numbers are going up.
Chicken is good. Mm -mm. I just love how the chicken turned out because <clears throat> if you are if you have um, gluten issues, you can you can fry your chicken like this. I mean, it doesn't look any different from a regular crusted chicken. It looks the same. Chicken marinated for a little bit over two hours, and the flavor is just so good. Just imagine if this was overnight. getting there now so I'm gonna finish this last piece and then we're gonna call it a day but this was really really good mm -hmm. this is really good and this is perfect because if you if you're in a lockdown and you want to enjoy some takeout kind of food you can definitely try this recipe. Mm -mm. This is just like takeout. So guys, we have come to the end of another video and I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video and thank you for subscribing. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, like the video and share my videos with your friends and family so they too can see what Greedy Girl Anne is cooking up over here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.